I can't win with you on my back again. Excuse me? Hey guys, how are you? Hope you're fine. My name is Maestro Karehok and I'm good, great, and excellent as always. And today I'm playing episode 12 of My Horse Prince. Let's see what it's going to be about. Winter arrived at the ranch. That didn't mean training came to stop. Despite the harsh cold, Yuma worked harder. Blah, blah. Despite the harsh cold, Yuma worked harder than ever. As for me, I still couldn't call myself a jockey. But Yuma never criticized me or seemed disappointed. Of course he didn't. He likes you. He just told me that I didn't have to worry about anything. I appreciated his kindness, but deep down, I hoped for a little praise or support. I really be you must jockey? The question lingered in my mind. Of course you can. Your bond with him is stronger than anyone else's and it's going to keep getting stronger with each chapter or episode of your life. Or so I told myself. I was just relying on trust. It's so cool. But I'm all right in just a cardigan. Oh, you're here. Oh, hi, yoji san How are you? It's pretty cool now, isn't it? I'm from the north, so this is nothing to me. Oh, you must be used to the cold then. I am, yes, yes, absolutely, child, yes. I've never even had a flu shot. Those are two different things. Anyway, training in the cold is hard, isn't it? I just want to curl up in bed. Aida <laughs> Hoko. Oh, you must wear the scarf that we gave him in the last episode. Do you want to share again? <laughs> I mean, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to push yourself to train. I can do it by myself. Uh, really? But I should do something. No, 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 no. Stay right there. Don't you move. Huh? What are you planning, Yuma? I'll just do my best. Um, okay. I think. Right. We're off on an expedition. Huh? We're going somewhere? Of course we are. Oh, whatever happened to that pool? Can we sit now? Well, all those oldies aren't there anymore. But it's being renovated now. Renovated? Yeah, renovated. Its new name is Ikimen Kua House. I, I don't know what that means. Reopened after renovation. You made it into a public bathhouse? And you had money for renovations? I got access to all their pensions. It had a ton of cash. But don't make any questions, Aida Hoko. You don't need to know the details. Seems like an elaborate plan. You should be focusing on the ranch. So yeah, we still can't use the pool. I see. I don't get him at all. On top of that, Yuma says he's too good for that kind of training now. Really? He's too good. I want to train in a harsher environment. I can't win with you on my back again. Excuse me? Uh, okay. I won't say anything about that. Sounds like he's putting a lot of pressure on himself. We're going out into the wilderness. Winter, wilderness, a snowy mountain? This is where everyone comes in winter. For a holiday, we are here to train. This white turf is going to make me stronger. Maybe don't get too excited. It really is a lot colder here. Can horses handle the cold well? If not, I can warm you with my body. I'm sorry, I, I, I forgot that I friend zoned you. Or that I yoki zoned you. <laughs> this is why I don't have friends. You'll be right. They pull Santa's sleds, don't they? I can't deal with a G son. That's great years. So, is he going to use the snowboard this time? Nope. Mountains are for skiing. You silly girl. Skiing? He can ski? Nothing is impossible. You're right. I shouldn't think with common sense at all. But... I never thought I'd come to a ski era with a horse. It is so sad that is lagging right when the mission started. You had to see Yuma appearing on that screen. Holy cow! So what are you gonna... So, some tricks? Okay, okay. Let's talk to you so we can have a little bit more energy, right? Let's go. Skiing is fun. I can skin a little. What's so fun about it? I can't ski. Hmm. What's so fun about it is going to be like the medium answer. I can ski is like, oh well. I can ski a little. I think it will make him want to teach me, so I'll do with that one. Yes! You really are an athlete! Seriously, you I have to keep practicing. You don't need to rush. Get into it. Yeah, you do. You don't need to rush, it's going to make him sad. Yeah, you do, it's going to be the medium. I'm gonna be with... Get into it. Shoot. 
Okay, you might have full energy now. Now, let's see all your tricks. Yes, baby, impress me. And the computer is lagging again. Okay, no, there you got it. Okay, let's 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 go. Okay, uh, only hands or or hooves or I don't I don't know. But come on. Okay, seventy five points. This is all. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, Yuma, keep showing me those tricks. Come on. Because we have already finished this mission. Oh yeah. I won't say what I am noticing right now because if I said it, our bond will not be stronger. But okay. It's another amazing performance. I'll make this big jump and become a stronger racehorse. Oh. Well, hello. Is that... Is that my heart? What? How is he doing that? I need to get better. Oh, I need to get better. You're gonna kill yourself, Yuma. He doesn't seem to realize he's already better than them all. Oh. I'll jump even higher next time. For you, Idahoko. You don't have to. Are you still going to train? Yeah. I'm still not happy with my form. Holy Jesus. I have to get better. For you, my love. Uh, I mean, for you, my jockey. Thank you. But why didn't you take a break? You've been working so hard today. Um. That reminds me, um, can you teach me how to ski? I'm really bad at it. What's wrong? What? I'm here to train, not to play around. Excuse me? I... I know. But you can take a break, you know? Is this one of those scenarios in which Yuma won't confess to me until he becomes the best? I thought you understood what it meant to train a racehorse. I guess not. Yuma, please. How can you say that? Why are you being so mean? Fine, I'll use my power over you as an owner. Oh. You shall teach your owner how to ski. No, just let me train in peace, woman. Ah, uh, I don't understand you. Yuma, what the fuck? I'm training like this so you don't have to overdo it. It's all for you. For me? I never once asked. I never once asked you to train like this. Idahoko. That's it. I don't want to be your jockey anymore. <gasps> I'll never race with you again. Hey, where are you going? Leave me alone! Hey, wait! That's a good cliffhanger, please. How dare he talk to me like that? Does he think he can say whatever he wants? Because he's good looking? Pretty much, yeah. Camera, please. There's a limit to your pretty face, horse boy. And he's only here on this mountain because I paid for it. Yeah. This snowy mountain with no one else around is all thanks to me. Huh? Where is everyone? Where am I? Could it be... Lost? No, of course not. What, what was that? And there's a blizzard coming. Uh, there's a little hut over there. I'll go and see if anyone's home. My camera's not helping at all. So next episode. I hate when this happens, but I don't care. This episode is almost done. I'm going to record with my phone, okay? So Idahoko, lost in the snow after her fight with Yuma, takes refuge in a little hut, but she is all alone. Yuma, realizing what, realizing that Idahoko is stranded, ignores Ujisan's orders and dashes off through the snow. Next episode. Lone Sprinter. A girl in love. With a human faced horse. My horse prince. Episode 13 Lone Sprinter. Okay, so this is getting interesting, and I think that the next chapter is the last one. So let's see how this ends. Is Yuma going to turn out to be a real boy, like a full on human, good looking guy? I don't know, but I'm dying to discover. So I have to wrap it here because of races, but I hope that I can see you guys soon. Bye!